Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the concept of virtual machine. So basically we will try to understand what is virtual machine, what exactly happens in the backend when we create a virtual machine and also we will try to cover up benefits of the virtual machine. If you want to go through the complete course, you can access it through our website. Link of website is given in the description. Now let's come back to the topic. To understand this concept, I am taking a help of an example. Let's say in my organization, there is a need of deployment of an application and for that reason, I need a dedicated server. So in this case, we can go ahead and purchase a server here. Let's say this is a physical server and before buying this physical server, we have to determine what should be the hardware configuration on it. So based on the requirement and the kind of application we are deploying over this physical server, we can determine what and all physical configuration should be part of this physical server. Hardware configuration includes RAM, CPU, disk, etc. Once our hardware configuration is determined and we buy a physical server, after that we can connect this physical server inside a physical data center of our company. So let's say this is a data center of our company where we have connected our physical server. So when we connect a physical server inside a data center, so basically we connect a power connection to it. So let's say this is a power connection. Also, we need to have a network connection to this physical server so that our customer can access this server. So let's assume this is the network connectivity. Once our physical server connected inside the data center and we give the power connection as well as the network connectivity, we can power on this physical server and after that we can install the operating system. Let's assume as per our requirement on this physical server, we need Windows Server 2022. So we can go ahead and install Windows Server 2022 on this physical server. Once everything is set up, finally we can go ahead and deploy our application inside this physical server. Let's assume this is our application. So this is the traditional approach and this approach has a lot of limitations. First of all, we had to purchase a physical server and this physical server has the lifetime ownership. So cost is involved in it. After that, we installed an operating system. So this particular licensing cost is also included as well as we are end to end responsible for the maintenance of this physical server as well as maintenance of our data center. Apart from this, other operational charges like electricity bill, engineer salaries are also part of this overall costing. But instead of this traditional approach, we can use the Microsoft Azure and create a virtual machine. So exactly how it works, let's understand it. To understand this concept, I'm drawing a diagram here. Let's assume this is Microsoft Azure data center and this Microsoft Azure data center is based in central India. Microsoft has set up its data center across the world and based on our requirement, we can select our region. So let's say this is central India region and inside this central India region, Microsoft Azure has set up their data center and in this data center, Microsoft has set up physical devices. So let's assume this is a physical server out of many physical equipments inside the Microsoft Azure data center. So this is a physical server and this physical server will have its own component like physical RAM, physical CPU and physical disk, etc. So let's assume this is physical RAM, this is physical CPU and this is physical disk here. On this physical server, hypervisor is installed. You can understand hypervisor as a software and this is used for the virtualization. So let's say this is hypervisor and there are many hypervisor product available in the market. For example, if we talk about VMware, VMware has its product called ESXi. Similarly, Microsoft has its product called Hyper-V. Similarly, Citrix has its own product called Zen Server. So like that, multiple hypervisor product available in the market. And the main responsibility of this hypervisor is to virtualize physical resources and make it available as a virtual resource for our virtual machine. So how exactly it works? Let's understand it. Suppose this is an administrator and this administrator is looking for a server where he want to deploy his application. So this is administrator and through his laptop, he is connected to the internet. So let's assume this is internet here and this administrator is connected to internet and through internet, he can access Microsoft Azure data center because all of the Microsoft Azure data centers are accessible through the internet. So on his laptop, he will open the browser and on his browser, he will type 
portal.azure.com. Once Azure portal is open on his laptop, he can provide his Azure account credential. So it will ask for Azure username and password. Once account is created through Azure username and password, we can log into the Azure portal. Once this admin logged into the Azure portal, he can access virtual machine service. So let's say through portal, he is accessing virtual machine service here. And when he use virtual machine service, Microsoft Azure will ask for important information which is required for the creation of virtual machine, like what should be the name of virtual machine, what should be the username and password for the virtual machine, what size we are looking for, which operating system we want to deploy on virtual machine. Along with that, we can also mention our network information, like in which virtual network we want to deploy this virtual machine, whether we want to have a public IP address on this virtual machine or only private IP addresses required. So like that, there are multiple parameters which we can fill up. And after providing all these information, we can click on submit. As soon as we click on submit, Microsoft Azure automatically start creation of the virtual machine. Before creating a virtual machine, it will look into the region which is selected by the admin while creating this virtual machine. So let's say in this case, admin had selected Central India. So inside Central India Microsoft Azure data center, it will select a available physical server, means wherever resources are available to create a virtual machine and it will start the deployment. So let's assume one virtual machine is getting deployed here. So whenever we create a virtual machine, like a physical server, for virtual machines also, we need the compute resources like RAM, CPU and storage. For example, in this virtual machine, I am looking for 8 GB of RAM and 4 virtual CPU. So let's assume this is RAM and we are looking for 8 GB of RAM and 4 virtual CPU so that my virtual machine can run successfully. I'm taking example of just two component. So this is RAM and this is CPU. Like that, there are multiple components. So Microsoft Azure creating this particular virtual machine on this physical server. So in this case, physical resources of this physical server is going to be virtualized and available for this virtual machine. So we had discussed about this hypervisor. Hypervisor will virtualize these physical resources and make them available as a virtual resource for the virtual machine. It means this physical RAM is going to be virtualized with the help of hypervisor and 8 GB of virtual RAM is going to be aligned with this virtual machine here because when we filled up our form while creating the virtual machine we had mentioned that we are looking for 8 GB of RAM similarly we are looking for 4 virtual CPU and this is virtual CPU and this virtual CPU is going to be extracted from the physical CPU with the help of hypervisor. So with the help of hypervisor, this physical CPU will be virtualized and assigned with this particular virtual machine here. Similarly, if we are creating another virtual machine and let's assume this virtual machine is also going to deploy on the same physical server here, then this virtual machine virtual resources will also be extracted from these physical resources with the help of hypervisor. So once a virtual machine is created, whichever image we had selected, same image is going to be deployed on this virtual machine. Let's say if you want to deploy a Windows server, so we can select the Windows server image and the same image is going to be deployed on this virtual machine after this virtual machine is created. Once this virtual machine is up and running, we can access this virtual machine remotely from our laptop or any other devices with the help of internet here. And once it is accessible, finally, we can deploy our application. In coming classes, we will discuss about how to create this virtual machine practically and how can we deploy our application on the virtual machine here. If we compare this virtual machine with the traditional setup, there are a lot of benefits. The first and most important benefit is that we are paying for this virtual machine on hourly basis. For example, we need this virtual machine just for two hours so we can create our virtual machine, we can use it for two hours. After that, if we wish, we can delete this virtual machine. We will be only charged on the hourly basis. It means only for two hours I have to pay. Other than this benefit, as an administrator, 
we are not responsible for the maintenance of azure data center and physical server here this responsibility is taken by microsoft azure end to end as a end user we are not bothered about all this thing this is a renting model we are renting our resources from microsoft azure data center and based on that bill is generated and we are supposed to pay that amount there are a lot of other benefits also which we will explore practically when we move forward with our course like high availability auto scaling etc so finally if you want to define what is azure virtual machine an azure virtual machine gives you the flexibility of virtualization without having to buy and maintain the physical hardware that runs it it means in case of azure virtual machine we are not supposed to buy any physical server with the help of virtualization technology virtual machines are created inside the microsoft azure data center and these virtual machines are very flexible in term of use and features however you still need to maintain the virtual machine by performing tasks such as configuring patching and installing the software that runs on it so as we discussed microsoft azure is going to take care of data center and physical server maintenance but inside virtual machine we only have to take care of software installation patching and configuration so this is a broader overview of what is azure virtual machine how exactly it works and what are the benefits of these virtual machine in coming video we will see the practical part of it and we will discuss how to deploy a virtual machine using azure portal i hope this topic is clear to you see you in next video thank you